on, brother, and, and, and new day to you out there, even though I know it's like 11 o'clock out there in the 901, or if you're in that area. Man, I'm taking for these good walks, you know, because we, we both 50 years old. We made 50 December 27th. And look what I see behind me. Look, look at the thing. I said... I said, oh, no, I hope they ain't going that route because we still don't know. That thing is shaky. What? We, we got to find out. But ain't true. With seven years. It's a dub, man. I'm gone. What's going on, true? This your boy Cortez calling out of Atlanta, Georgia. I'm rocking with you. I know that you going through a lot with the whole dog situation, but I think I'm on the same track you on because... Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like somebody in pre got something to do with it too, but I believe Big Mucha Gray, he, he, he 100%, he, he involved in it. I know he is, so, yeah, you need to go ahead and get them guys, because he was sitting across the street when that, everything was going down. <laughs> Man, big salute to them two guys, you know what I'm saying? This is how we put the, uh do it, just like the next best thing uh, to turning that live button on, which I'm contemplating right now. Like I told y'all in a couple of videos back, I got my, my boy. Shout out to Crucial, Crucialness TV. You know what I'm saying? Like We've been going live back in, the, in what they call now uh, the Mo3 sect. But uh, that wasn't true. We're going live every day. I ain't do no editing, nothing like what y'all see. I'm just like these guys, but yeah, I ain't nothing like these guys. Shout out to both of these guys, you know what I'm saying? So, I told y'all in the video I made today, uh, make you make you a little 30, 45 second clip. And uh, this is how we're going we're gonna to start letting the people talk without all the funk of uh, trolls and live and shit. Like I said, I'm still contemplating, you know what I'm saying? Because when I press that button, it turned that live action back on. Now that I'm a, something like a... Uh, triple OG in the game. You should have seen me back then. When I ain't know a damn thing. But you know what? Time goes on. Uh, so shout out, salute to both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting on. Yeah, let's do it like that. Let the people speak. Uh, at, at on every video before before I begin to even speak. Let's do it in a in in a manly family kind of way. I was saying so salute to both of y'all gentlemen now yeah y'all do the same thing let me say this true is up fan mail and gmail uh send me 30 45 second clip make sure you let let, let the world know you're rocking with true and, let, and, 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 and just give your opinion in 30 to 45 seconds and we're just gonna keep letting, letting the people speak in my kind of way, and uh, if 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 you ain't got the uh, email, then if you're familiar with IG, that's more accessible accessible to you. Well, then at True Results Number Two, you can find me on IG. If that's not enough, well, shit, you can just text me your clip at nine zero one six five zero six seven eight nine, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, everybody gonna speak before I go back live, but you know that's how you do it. And I encourage my uh, the ones that donate uh, to, to 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 go first because yeah, okay, yeah, we're gonna see. But anyway, that's what we're trying to do uh, in our own way. We don't follow no scripts over there. Follow the leader of nothing. I'm a king. And I deal with none but kings and queens over here at True Results Family. Check my comment section. And that's how I refer to everybody. And that's just what a family do. Now let's get into what you're looking at right now. <clears throat> What's going on in this crime scene before we get to the real content? Because I got what they call content. Yeah, I left a promo video earlier. But what, while I'm talking, what's going on here in this in this little particular clip that I picked. What's going on here? I'm not going to blur no, I'm not going to blur nothing that I seen and felt. I don't care. I don't need to be monetized on this video. Yeah. Do what you're going to do. Use to. I'm not going to blur out nothing. There's an arm hanging out the window and uh, fuck, fuck, fuck all that black and white shit. There will be no alleged shit 
for you to. I'm not blowing out shit. I don't care. But for my people, I'm going to do it like this. Tell me why I chose this clip and what's going on in this, in this particular clip. Right? Tell me exactly what y'all see while I'm talking. Before I cut it in half speed and still. I'm creating conversation. I'm creating conversation. Because I see something very peculiar and interesting in this particular clip. Now I got all the exclusive footage. I'm talking about this clip. I'm not blowing out a motherfucking thing once again. Come and get me. I'll take another strike uh, on TV about nothing. Let's go. What we see? All right. Now, what is it? Do anybody see? Tell me at what point. It's the ambulance, the paramedics, or the medical examiner has already made the scene in this particular clip right here. Because if we pay close attention before I slow this shit down, then we see, I see what y'all see. But I'm just asking questions about this particular clip. Who's inside there already? I just want to know. I ain't seeing nothing. I mean, maybe the goddamn ammo, maybe the paramedics there already. I don't see no stretcher. I don't see shit going on. But I don't see it in the, you should see the beginning of this motherfucking video why everybody had their phones on. Uh, what do we, what are we looking at? Who's inside of there? Now, pay, pay attention. It's going to be on repeat as long as I keep talking. What do y'all see? Because I really want to know. Cause I ain't, I ain't forcing nothing. I'm asking a question. Do any, can anybody stop trying to make it look like I'm? Now, if I want to say something, see, I've been saying shit. Right now, I'm just trying to like have a conversation. Like, what do y'all see? All right, his arm out there. Some people, some somebody inside. Let's have a conversation. I can't pay attention to everything. Is the paramedics already there? The ambulance already there? What, what's going on? I don't see nobody, no, 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 no tape, no nothing. But I definitely see somebody inside of there messing with his body. But I ain't see nobody go in. You did. Now, this happened in the real time. If this real footage, then at what point did they turn the cameras on? And who the fuck made it inside? Before you see my reason, all this shit they want you to see, I'm asking a specific, I'm asking a question. Who the fuck is that inside? Now, his arm out, so he on the stomach. You can tell that. And then his arm inside. And he on your back. Who the people inside fucking with his body and putting up signs before the car pull up? And where the paramedics at? Can anybody tell me this shit? Because I really have been in go mode since November 17, 2021. And I can honestly say, I don't know. I guess I, I guess I just, I felt it by love. I don't know. Can y'all answer these questions for me? Can I be neutral? Ain't nobody getting in the comments and getting on my ass. You hear what I'm asking you a question. Not even forcing nothing. I'm just asking a question. What the fuck is going on? Nobody got no footage of the, <laughs> his body. Right, we don't ever want to. We don't want to see it. But uh, it's funny how all the people that was out there, and all the time they was out there, we don't have none of the important from these people's cell phones. It's like they turned it on, cut it, edited it, and only see why we ain't got none of the important shit. Nobody seen, nobody got footage of him going in, nobody got footage of him coming out, went in alive, come out uh, deceased, we ain't got none of that. And I know people, what, what happened? What, what's going on? Where the footage of the paramedics going in before this? All that cut, skip, pace, chop, somebody. Or maybe, maybe, maybe. This maybe everything ain't what it appears to be. 
I just want y'all opinion on this particular clip. And that's before you see, uh, fucking, uh, uh, damn, what's it, what's it, Maurice and, and trampling the crime scene. Like, you see the girl walk up with with the little with the little uh, leggings on, the multi-color leggings and shit down there passed out when the nigga in the black uh was on his phone and, and leaned down so her head went back. I thought she had got shot or some shit by a sniper. But I guess he was telling her I guess he just found out that was Flipper Man stressed out. But then she walked up there and, with her camera on, where that foot is at? Where she at? This ain't like <laughs> Man, what do y'all see? Before we get into this content, I had to do this. You know, to enlighten y'all. I told y'all in the last video, video before. Use your third eye. For the people that don't know how to access their third eye, just press your belly button and access. That's the button to use your third eye. All you got to do is take your index finger, press your belly button, and then just believe that you can see clearly now. You can see through all the bullshit. That's how you access your third eye. That's it. And uh, that's, that, that, that's real. So, uh, I don't know what they doing to Dolphin side there. Who is it and what are they doing? Put no sign. What are they doing with his body? And who is it? Is it the paramedics, the ambulance? And once again, I'm just saying. I need y'all feedback on this one. And now we're to get into this content. Uh, oh, yeah. We're to get into something else. Uh, before I do that, let me show y'all three individuals uh, coincidentally having the same last name. Uh, I ain't saying they related. Because it's too far in the game. I'm just saying. It's like. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Right? I'm going to show y'all three individuals. Here go one. Take a look. Here go another one. Bad name Taylor, too. Take a look. Here go the last Taylor. Take a look. It all three of these individuals. All their last name Taylor. And they all connected to Doc. Case. Murder. In some kind of way. Now, I have no reason to uh, say they uh, have no proof of none of that. But coincidentally, this is a proof of Doc. Now, where each one of, where each one of these guys is? With a bad name title. Common name, same guy. So let them marinate. Alright, cool. Here we go again. I told y'all. Continuation from from last night. See, it's a method to what they call madness. But you know what? It's always the truth. Sometimes you're gonna have to what I just told y'all, how to access your third eye. Just believe. Take your index finger, press your belly button, and then the scales will fall off your eyes. So you can be thinking for yourself and don't let nobody lead you astray. Uh, continuation from yesterday, right? Now, in the, in the, in the, in the last video, uh, I told y'all and showed y'all, how coincidental is it for this motherfucking chick? Jai, your real name on the lab video in the news shit. How coincidental is it that you on November 16th, 2021 is in front of Jeremy Pierre with a story about somebody that just lost their life that was set up kidnapped and murdered from a day now. Right? On November 16th. The day before Dow died. Also, in the daytime, the same day that you ended up around Dow 
when the sun went down at Ruth Chris Steakhouse. And if you know about Ruth Chris Steakhouse, they don't do lunch. Top notch steakhouse. They only open up after 4 p.m. every day. Uh uh, not no Applebee, no TGI Friday, no trash in the parking lot, none of that shit. You will not be getting no curbside, nothing. Yeah, over echelon shit. So they only open up after four for anybody that had any kind of little bit of money. You want to take on, yeah, you want to you romance and uh, impress your date. Okay, take them somewhere that's exclusive. They don't open up until after four and not even every day. Real Chris Steakhouse, right? So, we already did that last night. And for anybody just tuning in now, I don't know what the fucking time now about the lady in the green dress, not the devil in the blue dress. Well, I'm going to leave the link in yesterday's video for the people that's paying attention. Let's go to the dude on the right. Do anybody know who he is? He said it's a boo thing. Can you put a name or history on it or what? What, what are they, Bunny and Clyde? Like, uh, Daisy, Beyonce, or some shit? Like, what, what, what are they? But, let's do that right now. Who is he? That's a boo thing. She said he was there. That Rue Chris photo, when Dolph had his arm around, like, taking a picture with her. Who else seen the the sadness in, in Dolph's eyes, the uncomfortableness in his eyes on that photo. The 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 the, 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 the trap animal looks like. Uh, ooh, I mean, it, you seen it. She came out many many months later, saying, "I'm the last one that." Okay, you waited. You last one that seen Dolph. Okay, that's a bold ass statement. It's like you know some, huh? But she wasn't no groupie. You remind me of another dude. Uh, what's his name? Rick Wolfhead came up about the blue months later with a story and then got some press. Y'all sat on some shit. But we already know that. We already knew the game. So if we take your word for it, Ja, the lady in the green dress. Man, I advise everybody to pay attention right now. Because who was who she standing next to that was also there? And what is where the content come in? Is that what y'all want to call it? I call it just the truth. Continuation of everything I've been doing. Who is he? Well, I'm going to tell y'all who he is. See, other than her boo thing. Uh-uh. Just remember, just remember kidnapping and murder. And that goddamn news that, that she getting interviewed from Jerry and Pierre the day before at the same night that they went to Rue Creek with the day before a dog died about some kidnapping and murder on a day now. Now let's go show you who he is. And then tell me what y'all think. This is uh, education. This is this is a yeah. This is a, a video that uh, I'm not even gonna even be myself. I'm, I am myself. I'm, I just want y'all to respond to it on this video. Uh, everybody off limits and neutral, but I'm gonna let my people respond to what I'm showing them. So I guess they'll be educational. Yeah. Now let's get into. Who she's standing next to in his goddamn history. And just keep murder, kidnapping and murder. And then just remember, Dolph came in, flew in with Big Moochie Gray, over in 15, on the same plane, FaceTime uh, Monica from Atlanta, all things, remember Atlanta. And then never went to the West Cancer Center. And Ruth Chris and never been seen from until this fucking day. And these people think we stupid, huh? Well, 
As y'all see the beginning of the video, I advise everybody to make a 30, 45 second clip. And I advise the, my, my number one, the people that donate to me go first. Uh, and if you, if you tardy for the party, it ain't too late. Yeah, they'll tell you my cash app or go into the description box. But that's how we feel to do it. Now let's go ahead and see who her boo thing is. And for all the people that that really believe, you see, one thing y'all know about social media, it divides people. That's why you can never, that's why people are so confused. But let's do it like this. That's why I got a new recipe without going live. I still might do that. Just give your opinion. Send me a clip. Everybody think, though, a lot of people been saying it. And trust me, I read my fucking comment section, IGs, emails, and that's all I do. By myself. No moderators, no shit. Y'all were kidnapped. Y'all were kidnapped. Y'all were kidnapped. Y'all were kidnapped. But she a mobile notary. So if y'all was kidnapped for, for, for his, his, his assets to be transferred, then she would put in play. If, if she already certified a mobile notary, that means if, her, if, if, if this nigga was in on the play and he, he gets his background from kidnapping and we never seen dog with well then I guess they held him hostage and made and, and, and made her and, and made him sign his signature and then she just stamped their mobile mobile notary shit on it. That's how they took over there. All dog shit. But yeah. Let's think about it. Just a conversation. But let me go and read this. Let me go and check out who who her boo thing is. Sure. I'm tired. I'm starting right here, but uh, the name is Brandon Benton. Uh, for yeah, that's who's standing next to the lady in green. Uh, I ain't want to show the address because I don't feel like going black that shit out. So we're gonna start with the charges right here. Just because YouTube community guidelines, you know, his address up there. But they don't say shit up there. So I just start with the count. Four counts of aggravated assault. Four counts of aggravated robbery. Two counts of aggravated burglary. And carjacking. These are. Let me blow this shit up a little bit. Uh, the essential facts. Constitution said, if any y'all know what the fucking affidavit is. Oh, here you go, right here. All right. On uh, May the 18th, 2014, at uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, let me see, 12, uh, what's it is? Military time, 12, 8, 6, 6, 17. Yeah, 6, 17. Victim, Kiko Johnson. Boy, how many Johnsons? <laughs> I remember. I remember the beginning. Okay, that's now. Nah, that's that, those are uh, Taylors. All right, victim Kiko Johnson, and we did our homework, so don't worry about this right now. Uh, Vic, let me just read. Victim Kiko Johnson advised he drove his mother's Ford Taurus with Shirley Joyner in the passenger seat from thirteen fifteen Volleyball Lane. Apartment 265 to the apartment dumpster at Racquetball Lane to throw to throw trash away. Just going to the dumpster. Uh, Kiko Johnson stated he observed a two-door green Honda or a Hyundai approach him and suspect Brandon Benton exited the passenger side of the vehicle, pulling out a black handgun. Suspect Brandon Benton told Kiko Johnson to get back inside the Ford Taurus. Kiko Johnson advised he sat back in the driver's seat and suspect Brandon Benton told him to move over. And Brandon Benton entered the driver's side and drove the victim's Ford Taurus with both victim Kiko Johnson and victim Shirley Joyner inside back to this address. Brandon Benton took both Kiko Johnson's and Shirley Joyner's phones from them at gunpoint. When they arrived to this address, suspect Brandon Benton told both Kiko and Shirley 
to not make any sudden movements or there would be a murder scene. Brenda Benton forced both Kiko and Shirley upstairs to this address. Victim Kiko was forced to knock on the door and victim Gino Johnson opened the door. I ain't saying they related to a straight job or nothing. Let's go. When a door was open, Brandon Benton forced Kiko and Shirley inside the apartment at gunpoint and then pointed the gun at victims Gino and Sharon Johnson, who were already inside the apartment. Suspect Brandon Benton forced all four victims to the back bedroom and asked them where his dope was. Suspect Brandon Benton forced all four victims to the back bedroom and asked them where his dope was. Brandon Benton searched each room of the apartment forcing all four victims to move with him as he searched from room to room. As Brandon Benton searched, he said, if he finds out anyone is selling his dope, it was going to be a murder scene. Brandon Benton also stated, if anyone called the police, he will come back and kill everyone. Brandon Benton then left the apartment. Both victims, Kiko, Shirley, gave written statements and positively identified Brandon Benton from a photo lineup with six similar photographic images. As the person that committed the offenses against them. True. Let me show y'all something else. Content, right? We trying to see who I was around off on this November 16th. Well, we already know her. It's a lot of shit happening on November 16th. Don't y'all get what I'm showing y'all? Sometimes you got to go back in a clusterfuck of situations because emotions run high. The whole goal is to go against the grain. Don't believe the hype. Because if it's a cover-up at, at this level, it's major. So now we got to go back and see who is who. Slowly but surely. And I remember, I ain't saying it on this one video. Y'all know how aggressive I am. Shit, if y'all had name come up, shit, I'm going to light your ass up. You got to come holler at me then. You should have never you should never been a suspect or even been involved. But now, this one, I'm just going to like let the people talk. And I hope y'all send me y'all clips. But so, we can just, because I press the live button, but for right now, this who this who she was this who was around Dolph at Rue Rue Chris Steakhouse. This is this is this is the dude that she was standing next to. In case y'all didn't know, and I know a lot of people didn't even know, or uh, never it was all about her because she, her face was it. But it's always the motherfuckers that's behind the scenes that's gonna put in the work. Now, put 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 this whole video. I advise y'all to go back and, and replay it and then put this with the whole context and then see what I'm saying. And then if that ain't enough, hit the link, the first link in the description box right up under the picture. For people that don't know what the description box is, press more. And then you'll see a lot of more information. I don't think a lot of people explore yeah, press more, and the first link you see is going to be from the video from last night. This is a continuation to show for everybody that, and it's a lot of people, like, Dog was kidnapped. Well, if Dog was kidnapped, because remember, we ain't never seen him, uh, 
I guess. I mean, the last time he made a public appearance, uh, according to this bullshit, her. It was that Ruth Chris Steakhouse. She say Marcus was there. Marcus ain't say he was there. So you can't believe the hype. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe maybe that's why she jumped out. Many, many months later. If that's her first time being dog, you so should have been excited. I mean, why jump out later? If you if you got if you got this, if you last person that seen him, I think that's a bold ass statement. I'm the last person that seen Dolph alive. How the fuck you know that? Bold ass statement. And then you go listen to the shit. I'm out. Like, it was spooky in the in the parking lot with quiet, with no cars around, and uh, it's security. Didn't act like security don't let me. But with the whole goddamn shit from this video and the yesterday video, y'all be the judge of that. And that's what we finna do. Y'all send me all y'all clips. I don't care. It can go over forty five minutes. It can be a, if it, if it, if it, if, it, if, if if you speaking on something, I'm, I'm gonna play it uh, one and two at a time for every video I drop from now. That's how we gonna bypass the live shit. And if push come to show, I, I already got. It. Shout out to Crucialness TV too. We've been doing that. So I mean, you know, you know, let's get it. I ain't true what's up. Get in a conversation and tell me what you think and then tell them. Uh -uh, I don't want nothing but feedback. I made this whole video not even doing how I normally do it. Not, not forcing nothing just for pure content and context. Let y'all talk. My name is True. Cash out dial sign True is always number two. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, you see the names I called out in the other video? Yeah, donate to the channel because there ain't nothing for free in the world. I took a deep breath. Ain't shit for free out here, bro. Like, see, I mean, my love, I don't have to share nothing with nobody at all. And I still got a true as of fan mail uh, at Gmail. So I can monitor all loyalty and love. And I created that way in the more three days from the beginning. And that's how I money to my people. So I can shut this shit down anytime. Keep this shit over there. Ain't no gimmicks, no gains over here. I mean, shit. <clears throat> what more can I say? Yeah, support your black brother. True. And I ain't finished it. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny that... Uh, I can I can I can giggle a little bit now. Yeah, I can giggle a little bit because I ain't no turning back with me, and it looks like it looks like I'm the last man standing, and uh, <laughs> that shit is for real. Look around, nobody nobody was sincere anyway. I ain't, I mean this shit. I ain't got time for none of this shit. I'm so glad I stayed to myself. I'm so glad I'm, I don't have no, I'm not leading no gang gang and shit on no, on no fucking social media. I'm so glad I talk to people every chance I get. Sometimes there's too many comments. I can't reach people, but I'm so glad I got email, uh, IG. Man, I talk to a lot of people. I ain't, I drop a number on you too, so you can text me. You better ask these people, bro. I ain't am, but one kind of genuine and sincerity. That's me. So, with that being said, y'all, I'm uh, probably going to uh, go ahead and get this, have something in the tuck for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But for this video, I appreciate y'all tuning in. And uh, ain't no perfect recipe. I'm not reading no script at all, but y'all yeah, get it. And for the ones that don't get it, just... If you're watching this video and you're confused, then that's what I'm telling you where the link to the to the yesterday videos. And I put all both of these together and then my question for everybody is like, what's dog kidnapping? I mean, I mean, look who the fuck look at the coincidences and if you got a history of kidnapping motherfuckers in oh my god, I'm gonna leave it right there. I salute to everybody. Everybody, all my kings and queens. My name True.
No, no need to linger. Yeah, we own it. I got more and more and more all the way. Yeah, yeah. True.